There are two gods of fire in Greek and Roman mythology. Vesta, who embodies the feminine aspects of fire, and Vulcan, or Hephaestus, who embodies the masculine aspects of fire. Vesta is the goddess of the hearth. In Greek and Roman civilization, the hearth was the heart, the life of the home. Both in the home and in the temple, the hearth is where the sacrifices to the gods were made. It's what kept you warm. It's where you cooked your food. Vesta is the feminine aspect of fire because like the hearth, it is all embracing. It is the fire that warms you, the fire that nourishes you. Vulcan was the blacksmith of the gods. The transformative aspects of fire. The active aspects of fire. The aspects of fire that allow you to turn metals into tools and weapons. Especially weapons like swords and shields, which are penetrative in nature. But don't misunderstand masculine and feminine in this context in the way you understand gender. These are masculine and feminine as archetypes, as divine emanations. And it's the same for all aspects of the Greek and Roman gods. The spelling of their names are also similar in both the Greek and the Latin. In Greek, both their names start with letter eta, Hephaestus estia, while in the Latin, both their names start with a V, Vulcan and Vesta. It's also worth noting that both gods are depicted sitting. Vulcan sits while he performs his craft, his blacksmithing, while Estia sits while she tends the fire of the hearth. Through the masculine expression, that represents the focus that goes into creating the craft, while Vesta in the feminine represents a more contemplative aspect of the fire.